Hi, sir. So I wanted to make you a little video of how everything looks. This is like the FS10 1.5 inch entrance and exit. This is for instance, uh, FS3. This is uh, 3000 liters per hour. This one is for instance, this is uh, 3 fourths of an inch. This is uh, 1000 liter per hour. Uh, what I was saying on the phone is for you, what you would need first is to have something like this. This is called a strainer. So it, it goes on this way. Uh, the water will come through here. Whatever is rocks and pebbles, this net will not let it pass. And then the filter does the fine filtration. This way, the nano net uh, doesn't get damaged. So after the strainer, then we have the magnetic structure. We put it like this. So this will be the sequence. Strainer, magnetic structure, then water goes into the filter around this kind of filter cartridge. What happens is water goes around this filter cartridge and uh, the pores between this uh, ultra thin mic micro wire is 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 micron. When water starts coming in, they start uh, vibrating a little. And uh, under less than one micron will fit through the net, go inside of the filter element, hit this uh, one more structure before exiting. Uh, see, this structure is also covered in nano silver. Inside is a magnetic field. It's a plus minus plus minus magnets. So it plays around like this. See, it's pushing it back and forth. It looks something like this. So the frame of the filter element is also covered in nano silver before we start doing the, the wiring. So basically it would look like this. This one is a little dirty. Uh, I just use it for a showing. So the frame gets covered in nano silver. Then it gets knitted around the frame. Uh, this is, for instance, a one inch diameter structure. What is inside is exactly this. This thick magnetic structure. It's this fits right in here. And uh, the two inch that we were discussing, if you want to take a two inch filter, the FS20 with a two inch magnetic structure. So it has three of those going throughout the pipe. That's very intense. So it's a lot more powerful than, than the one inch one, of course. And the setup would be the same. You would have the FS20 that is stainless steel. Uh, these are brass filters, one, two, three. These are our smallest models. They are brass filters. But uh, for instance, you would we would have to get you a two two inch strainer like this. Once it gets like a lot of rocks in there, you open this and just take let it release it from there. Then the two inch structure like I showed you. Then the the filter that is uh, two inch for twenty metric tons per hour. So once again, this is this is how a membrane looks without nano silver just regular this is brass and then we cover this in nano silver such as this so once again this is 10 in this is 10 m3 1.5 entry and exit this is one inch this this is three fourths of an inch for one m3 per hour this is a one inch for 3m3 per hour so all the membranes they're different sizes different dynamics to work correctly again this is the structure uh, hopefully this gives you a more better understanding of the the way everything works the, the mechanics is is the same whether the filter is this small or 50 or 100 metric ton per hour uh, it works the same just different capacities bigger membranes bigger magnets and and so on if you have any questions uh, just let me know so this is basically like a spiral microwire
and under vibration, the filter element drops the dirt. And us and usual filters, they intake dirt into the cartridge, and then you have to change it. Here, it's reverse. Water goes in, swirls around. Water is less than one micron can penetrate the micro wires thinner than a, than a human hair. And everything else, it's like a mirror effect. It just stays here waiting for it to be flushed and it's good to go. Then every three, four months, you open the bottom of the filter housing and you do a gentle cleaning of the membrane because heavy metals and things like that, they're not going to pass through the cartridge. So it will start getting yellowish. Uh, they can just do a little cleaning, put it back in and you're good to go again. So this way they will last you a long time, 10 years or so. As long as you use some kind of pre-filtration like this, so that uh, it, any kind of big particles, pebbles, rocks, don't hit, don't hit this membrane. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.